All right, folks. Well, welcome to our um, session on the Microsoft School Transformation Program. Um, this is the info session. Um, please, please know that we will have a, a Q and A time. Um, this is being recorded, though. So if you don't want your voice or face to be seen or heard, then please just pop it in the chat. You'll see the little chat bubble on your screen if you just click on that, um, and we'll we'll make sure that those questions get um, fed to me by um, Trudy or Cindy at the end of this presentation. Um, so the the Microsoft School Transformation Program is a unique um, workshop or series of workshops that's actually been um, designed for whole school, and this cohort is for the South Australian Department for Education um, uniquely. Um, that's me. I'm Troy. I am a learning delivery specialist for Microsoft Education. Um, I work in the southern states, so that's Victoria, Tasmania and South Australia specifically. Um, and I come from an education background, so I'm certainly not very technical um, and neither am I involved in sales or marketing. So what we've done is we've built this definitely from an education perspective because that's that's where, where I come from and, and other people that work in my team come from as well. So what it is, is it's a free professional learning program to build and implement your school's unique digital transformation strategy. So just to date this recording, we are in Victoria at the moment in another lockdown. Um, and so the idea of being ready for whatever this virus throws at us, the schools that have been involved in the STP, school transformation program um, prior to to the different lockdowns have just raved about how much this readied them um, but it's much more than that as well right it's about um, modernizing about making sure that we are using the best of um, of what has been bought for us by the department in our classrooms and in our schools and it's a whole school journey so how this came about um, was when i was working running workshops for, for schools as a, as a Microsoft Learning Delivery Specialist, I was looking for ways to have lasting impact, right? So it was like, you know, we, we can do these sort of drop and run workshops. We can um, come into to a group of teachers or even into a school and say, look at all this great stuff. And then, you know, we leave and people hit blockers and, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a lack. And so what I wanted to do was look at what constitutes good professional learning and try and build that into um, into our program. And so what I did was I looked at the general consensus, according to the research, of what good professional development looks like. Now, there's still limitations that I'm not a part of your school in an ongoing way. We're just going to come in and, you know, run this program over a period of time. So there's there's no doubt that we're not able to deliver absolutely everything around best practice for professional development. But what we can do is be a part of that picture at your school. So thinking about some of the things that I saw that we could replicate in terms of good professional development is, first of all, we can run intensives. Um, and that's what these workshops are. But they do include follow up and on site support for teachers. Um, another thing was we had to make sure that we're offering active learning opportunities for teachers. And that includes practice, feedback and reflection. And as I described the course to you and uh, the program to you, and as you move into this course, if you choose to become a part of it, then you're hopefully going to see that that's exactly what we do. We also want to utilise your expertise as teachers, so that's in schools, across the department. We want to make sure that it's um, cultivating leaders and aspiring leaders and involving the teachers in the actual planning of their own professional development. And then lastly, it provides, we, we want to make sure that we provide structures that facilitate collaboration among the teachers, both within and across schools. So you will come into this not only as a group from your school, but you'll also work with other groups from other schools across the department. Now, when we look at the Australian curriculum, there's what's called the Digital Technologies Curriculum, which is a standalone curriculum, just like maths is a curriculum, English is a curriculum. But there's another general capability um, which touches on ICT, and that's called ICT capability. And when we when we look at that, we can see that across the top here, it's about applying social and ethical protocols and practices when using ICT. So this is what the outcomes we want the students to have. And it's also about managing and operating ICT. But it's done this way. It's done through investigating with ICT, creating 
with ICT and communicating with ICT. So this general capability goes right across the curriculum. And that's what this workshop or this series of workshops is about. We will touch a little bit on um, the, uh, uh, the curriculum area of, of ICT, but predominantly what we want to do is use ICT general capability across all the different areas, right? So across literacy, across um, numeracy, across science, across you know the different learning areas, all right? So it's not just about the digital technologies curriculum. So if you're wanting to come along and do a you know a series of workshops that's going to teach you to code or it's going to teach you about robotics, this is not the workshop. This is about using technology right across the curriculum. So what does it look like? Well, it looks like this. The first thing that we note is that we have the Transforming Education Leadership Seminar. So what happens in there is that we create, or continue to create if your school is already on that path, a shared vision for the digital transformation of your school. And this is made for leaders, okay? So principals, deputy principals, excuse me, deputy principals, e-learning coordinators, digital leaders, curriculum leaders, IT directors, et cetera. So what we want is we want that group of people, the people that are in leadership in these different areas to come along to this workshop, okay? Um, now, I just wanna stress, and I'll say this a number of times during this presentation, this is not about sending the same people to every one of our workshops. We are looking at four different areas in your school, and we want representatives from those four different areas to come to the four different workshops, and then they go back and work together. All right. So it's really important to note that this is for principal class. This is for middle leaders around digital learning curriculum and for IT directors. That, that's who we want to come to this. And I want to stress that again, because sometimes what happens is people will come to a number of the workshops and say, oh, we did the same thing twice. Exactly. Because you weren't supposed to be coming to all of them. You're meant to be coming just to the one that's specific to your area of, um, of the school. Um, this is a one day workshop, but we run it on two different dates. So you get to choose the 27th of July or the 2nd of August. But what we do ask is that your team all come to the same day because you will work together in groups on some tasks. All right. So, you know, if you're absolutely stretched and you have to go to two different days, 100 percent, please know, you know, you can. Um, but what we want to stress is it's about this group of people coming together, listening together and working together and building together. And that'll be run from 10.30 to 2.30. So that's a, a four hour workshop. And this is run by Travis Smith, who's Microsoft Australia's K-12 industry lead. He is a former school leader himself in, in, in principal class. Um, and he was also involved in the first ever one-to-one -one laptop program in a, in, a, um, in a government school in the world. Um, so he will introduce you to the ed education transformation framework and take you through that. He's definitely a, a real gun. Now, the second day, this is one that we focus on middle leaders. Now, whilst I did suggest that your e-learning and digital leaders would come to that first day, this is one where we actually want them to come to the second workshop as well, but not everybody, just the e-learning and digital learning leaders, curriculum leaders, and any aspiring classroom teachers to, to that middle level of leadership. Now, what happens in here is we upskill you and your school to support teachers and to deliver professional development, and participants will work on a project. So what we're saying there is these are, this is like a train the trainer workshop. So you will actually learn not about how to use the tools, but about how to introduce people to tools and how to introduce your staff and lead them in change to adoption and usage, okay? So again, this is a middle leaders course. This is a two-day course. So you need to attend both the 6th and the 11th, all right? And that runs from nine till three on both days, okay? Now, what does that look like? Basically, it's as we said here, it's designed for K-12 leaders and educational trainers. You will be exposed to some of the Microsoft technologies. So there is a bit of awareness OK, that will be built and you will do some hands on activities and particip participate in some conversations around that. And you will learn to apply the Microsoft resources and staff development programs available to professional development facilitators. But what this isn't is it's not about learning how to use OneNote or how to use you know, these other tools. OK, we'll talk about where you get that in a minute. You will be introduced to change management models and how to um, lead that in your school. Um, we'll collect your, connect your learning to, excuse me, there's a typo there, to the Australian curriculum. 
and then you will build a strategy and a plan to move your colleagues through a crawl, walk, run framework or a beginning, intermediate and advanced framework. And then you will take that back to your school and you will execute that. OK, so you will actually be running trainings back in your school and um, and leading people through change management. But you will also be certified as a Microsoft Innovative Educator Trainer. So you will get a proper Microsoft certification um, in the education technology space. And so that's actually worth something to you. You'll build a professional project. OK, so that's what we talked about before, that you will execute this back in your school. OK, and then that project will be assessed. OK, so you will create a group presentation showing what you did back in your school, the, the success, the challenges. It's not about, you know, if you did it great, you get a great mark or if you did it badly, you get a bad mark. Not at all. It's about reflection and showing us what you did and demonstrating that. So you'll have a group presentation that you will upload um, into into a team by the end of term four. And then you will also get a chance to peer assess another school okay and that'll also be due in term four and we will make these slides available to you as well as this video if you want to um, share this with other people in your school now the next one really important another completely different group of people this is your learning support leaders and teachers teachers aides any support professionals at your school ot's speech pathologists etc and classroom teachers with a really strong interest in learning support OK, so you're going to learn here how Microsoft technologies can support students with learning and physical needs. So, again, this is not the same people that we had in the last workshops. OK, this is a one day workshop, but we offer it on two days and you can come on the third or the 12th. And it really doesn't matter if you split your your school up and some come on the third and some come on the 12th. And that runs from nine till three. What that's going to look like is you're going to get an introduction, a basic introduction to Microsoft 365 but not a very big one and not a very deep one. You will jump into the Universal Design for Learning Framework. You may have heard of that, UDL. Um, and then we'll look at writing support, reading support, math support, and speaking and listening support as well. Now, the next one um, is for your IT pros, so your IT specialists in your school. Um, so IT directors, if your school's that big, or IT manager, or maybe you've just got services staff, or maybe your school outsources to a third party organisation, they are welcome to come along as well. Um, but they will explore how to best support schools and manage and deploy Microsoft technologies on school devices. This is the technical one. Teachers really don't need to come unless they are super highly skilled in the IT space. That runs on the 28th of July from 10 to 12. That's just a two hour course. Um, I'll skip the agenda there, but you can go back and look at those slides later. We'll make those available to you. Now, what about the people in your school who aren't um, very good with 365 and yet they're expected to come along to a leadership workshop or a, um, you know, learning support or e-learning leaders training? What do we do with people that need that basic training first? This is an optional day, okay? And this is to introduce M365 to newbies, OK? Anyone new to M365 is welcome to come. That's on the 22nd of July, and that runs from 9 to 2.30, all right? Now, I want to stress that each one of these workshops needs a minimum of two people from your school. You're not to send individuals, except maybe the IT pro if you only have that one person in your school. But we want to send groups of people because we saw before good PD is about working within the school and within the group as well as across the school. So please make sure that you send groups of people and you send the right people to the right workshops. This is delivered 100% virtually via Teams. OK, so there is no face to face component. Um, you are welcome to sit at your school in a room with the same people. Um, you know, that's fine. You guys can be face to face, but we will deliver this 100% virtually um, to your school. And you will come in with people from across different schools and be a part of that. And you'll work together with those people. Um, where does this end up? Well, it's really um, important to note that you can do the school transformation program, take all that's valuable in there, and that's the end of your relationship with Microsoft in that sense. Um, or you can go on to become what's called a Microsoft Showcase School, which you make um, a uh, an application, and then you, um, if you meet the criteria, then you can go into the incubator program and then go on to become a Showcase School. Um, the Showcase School, I'm showing you the criteria for this. This is not the criteria 
for being a part of the um, STP. Really, the criteria for being part of the STP is just to say we will send the right people to the right workshops and numbers of people, and we're committed to this. Um, that's all you need for that. Um, but in uh, to become part of the showcase schools, you need to actually meet these six criteria. And it's really quite strong, meaning that, you know, you can't be a Mac school or a Chromebook school. You need to really be right across the Microsoft stuff. So remember, that's about becoming a showcase school. When you get these slides, if you want to go through and have a have a look, you, you're most welcome to. So on that note, I am going to throw it open for questions. Um, if there's been any questions in the in the chat, if you guys could read them out to me, otherwise feel free to come off mute and um, ask your questions. Okay, no questions, Cindy. Just making sure you're still there. Uh, yes, yeah, still here, Troy, but no questions in the chat. Okay, great. That's because I did such a good job. All right. So for more information, please reach out to Cindy Dennison at that email address there, and she will happily share with you um, the link for making an application. Um, maybe Cindy, if you wanted to throw it in the chat now, that would be great. But if not, um, please email Cindy and she will get that, that registration link to you. Um, you can also reach out to me if you've got questions. I'm available on Twitter, LinkedIn and Facebook. You can look me up on those platforms there. Um, you'll know it's me if you do a search for my name, Troy Waller, because you'll see this little icon here. Um, or you can send your questions through to Cindy.